Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know that in the last learning video we have started the topic method of separation of variable and we have seen a problem on that and we have also seen the numerous applications of this. Now in this learning video also we are going to take one more example to make the computational skills better. Okay, so let us see the problem. And the problem that we have on this is solve the equation del u by del x is equal to 2 del u by del d plus u and given that u x 0 is equal to this. As I have stated in the last learning video also that we are going to take the problem where some conditions will be given to you and will make use of that conditions to get the, to get the value of constants. Okay, so let us see what this uh, problem is all about. So we are going to start with uh, given, okay. Given PD is, given partial differential equation is. So what is given partial differential equation? Del U by del X is equal to 2 del U by del D plus U. Okay, this is given to you. Where and say this is to be my equation number one. Where, where what is u? Where what is u? U is a function of x and t. How I come to know u is a function of x and t? Because we have derivative of u with respect to x and also with respect to t. So u is a function of x as well as t. Okay. So what is the second step? In the second step we. Uh, go for the solution okay so what is the solution of it the solution let let what is this let u is equal to x t be the solution of equation 1 where where this x is a function of x and t is a function of t, variable t, okay? After that u is equal to x t with the solution of equation 1, what we need to do is, we just need to find out the value of del u by del x and del u by del t from here and substitute in equation number 2 and see this is to be my equation 2, okay? So, Differentiating to, differentiating to, of course partially with respect to x and t, we get. So when you differentiate it, what you'll be getting? You'll be getting del u by del x is equal to x dash t. Why I'm writing x dash t? Because these x function of x, t is a function of t, both are independent. So whenever we are taking derivative of with respect to one variable, other will be treated as constant because both are independent. Okay. And uh, what is the next one? Next one is del u by del t. So what is del u by del t? Derivative of u with respect to t. So x constant t dash. Okay. So we have del u by, by del x and we have del u by del t. Then substitute these values in equation number 1. So next I can write equation 1, equation 1 becomes, so what is equation 1? Del u by del x, that is x dash t is equal to 2 times, what is del u by del t? x t dash plus u, u is equal to x t. Once you get this equation, your next objective is to take one variable on one side and the other variable on other side okay so i got this uh, yes one thing i just uh, would like to write here here this x dash is nothing but this x dash is equal to del not del that would be d because only one independent variable so this x dash is dx by dx and this t dash is dt by dt okay just uh, it's a 
uh, very obvious and you should know this but still I am just writing for the sake of our convenience so we have x dash t okay next we can write x dash t as what is common over here x so I can write 2 t dash plus t into x okay now you can take this x to the left and t to the right so this is x dash by x is equal to x dash by x is equal to 2 t dash by t plus 1 okay now as we know that this x and t are independent variables so each these are independent variables so each uh, ratio or each uh, what we can say this uh, is equal to some constant okay so each fraction of this equation is equal to some constant okay so okay let me let me run this first we have this x dash is equal to a you can just write one sentence uh, that sentence is uh, since x and t and say this is to be equation 3 since x and t are independent variables independent variables then each ratio or each fraction of equation 3 is equal to is equal to some constant say k okay so just take those values to be k so this is like a x dash upon x is equal to 2 I think it's a 2t dash plus t yeah. Yeah. 2t dash plus t the next is 2t dash by t plus 1 is equal to k ok 2t dash 1 is equal to k then uh, take this to now x dash upon x is equal to k is that x dash upon x is equal to k okay and uh, you can just uh, integrate this and this is 2t dash by t plus 1 is equal to k so i am going to solve this first and then we'll solve this so this is like uh, on integrating or you can also write it like uh, 2t dash upon t is equal to k minus 1 so t dash upon t is k minus 1 by 2 and here also you can write x dash is, x is equal to k and then integrate so variables are separated so just integrate it on integrating we get what is it log x is equal to kx plus log k integrating with respect to x integrating with respect to y okay next is next is uh, you can just write log x minus log a is equal to kx okay then log of x by a is equal to kx therefore x is equal to a into e to the power kx likewise you can find out this also so just integrate it so this is log t this is k minus 1 by 2 into y 
plus log b and it is like log of t minus log of b is equal to k minus 1 by 2 times y and then you can write like log of t by b is equal to k minus 1 by 2 y therefore this t is equal to b e to the power k minus 1 by 2 y is that y or oh, sorry it should be t because we have variable t this should not be done silly mistakes yeah now it's correct yeah so we got these two values okay so we have x we have t now what you can do is you can just you can just write down the solution by putting these uh, functions in equation number two so you can just write it like on substituting on substituting these values substituting these values in equation 2 we get what we get u that is a function of x and t is equal to capital X that is a e to the power kx into b e to the power k minus 1 by 2 t okay this is what we have now you can write it as that is u of x t is equal to product of constant is again constant I will denote it by a into e to the power kx plus k minus 1 by 2 t okay now this is the solution but as you know that we are given a condition over there which is uh, u of x0 so we have to make use of that equation to get the values of constants that namely a and k okay so uh, given that given that what is that u of x0 is equal to i didn't remember that 6 e to the power minus 3x so what you can do is Equation 4 implies, equation 4 implies put t is equal to 0 in equation 4. So, this is u of x0 is equal to a e to the power kx. Okay, and this is 0 implies this all 0, right? So, we have this, but But u x zero is equal to what is it? Six e to the power minus three x. So from here you can imply a is equal to six and k is equal to minus three. Now you can substitute these values in equation four to get the final solution. Okay. So. Therefore, the required, therefore, the required solution is, what is it? U x t is equal to A, that is 6. What is A? Constant into constant is constant. Okay, e to the power. What is K? Minus 3. So, this is minus 3x minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 by 2 minus 2 t okay so this is uh, the final solution to the given problem so i think this is uh, making some sense and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask and we'll be having some problems uh, in the live session also to solve on this topic okay so thank you for watching and have a good day